Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we Dizzy mixing right away, Bob. <laughs> yes, she's been excited all morning. <laughs> Bye. So what am I going to be doing again, Wendy? Well, Ella, the school teacher, has asked if you can be the Sunflower Valley walking bus this morning. Ho <laughs> ho! Yippee! I'm the walking bus! That means taking Carlo, Cassia, Saffron and Sunny safely from their homes to the school at the Doom. OK, Wendy. Bye! Not so fast. Dizzy, you've got to mix some concrete and take it to Bob. He needs it for the new Sunflower Valley signposts, remember? Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. And don't forget to take your talkie-talkie. <laughs> the sooner I get this concrete to Bob, the sooner I'll be the walking bus. That should be enough, Scoop. OK, Lofty. Lower away. Nice and easy. <sighs> Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, hi Dizzy. Dizzy. What's the big rush? I've got lots to do. <laughs> I'm the walking bus, you know. That's a very responsible job, Dizzy. I know, Bob. Um, is this a Sunflower Valley sign, then? That's right, Dizzy. This will show people how to find the dome. Well, that's where I'll be taking Sonny, Saffron, Carlo and Cassia. Oh, uh, Dizzy? I think you'd better pour the concrete, Dizzy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lofty. Dizzy, where are you going? There's still three more signs to put up. But, Bob, I don't want to be late for my first morning as the walking bus. I know. Pour the rest into Scoop Scoop. Then you can take the children to school. Oh, thanks, Bob. I'm so excited. Hey, Dizzy, try following the new signs. OK, Bob. Be back later. Right. Let's put up the next sign. OK, Bob. Oh, looks a bit crooked. There. Wonder if any more signs need a bit of spud straightening magic. Too lofty. Hmm. Scoop, can you call Dizzy on your talkie talkie? We'd better find out what mix she made for the concrete. Scoop to Dizzy! Can you hear me? Hi, Scoop! It's Wendy. Dizzy was in such a rush, she forgot to take her talkie talkie. Oh dear, that's no good. And she's mixed the concrete too thin. It won't support the signposts. They're all falling over. By the looks of it, Dizzy left most of the concrete mix in the yard. Right. We're going to have to come back and mix some more, then reset the signposts. Well, what about Dizzy? Will she find her way around without the signposts? Of course. She could find her way around Sunflower Valley with a blindfold on. Oh, I don't remember this bit. But it's the way the signpost was pointing. Oh, why don't you call a Bob? Well, uh, we can't. 
Um, because, um, I forgot my talkie-talkie. Perhaps we should go back. Well, then we'd be really late for school. No, we must keep going and all stick together. Dizzy should have been here ages ago. Oh, I hope everything's all right. Oh, hi, Wendy. It's Ella. Oh, dear. That's no good, leaning over like that. Hi, Wendy. What? Oh, no, I'd better try and find them. Thanks. What's up, Bob? Dizzy hasn't arrived at the school yet. I'm not surprised with these wonky signs. How's anyone supposed to get anywhere? Hi, Spud. Yes, the signposts keep leaning over because the concrete's too watery to set hard. It's a good job I'm here to pull them up straight again. <laughs> See? Spud pushes the post up and twists it into position. But it's pointing the wrong way. Is it? Hmm. Did you straighten the sign pointing to the dome, Spud? Well, uh, yeah, I might have. Right mess, that one was. Then that could be pointing in the wrong direction too. Come on. Lost, aren't we, Dizzy? Uh, well, um, uh, yes. Um, but at least we're all lost together. Someone will notice we're missing. Of course they will. Anyway, I'm having a great time. It's the best night to trail ever. That's it! <gasps> OK, everyone, get your school books out. What? Well, if we can't get to school, we can make our school here. A nature lesson while we wait for someone to find us. Just as I thought. This sign's pointing the wrong way. It says the dome is in the woodland over there. Let's hope the walking bus hasn't walked too far away. <laughs> Dizzy? Bob! Are you all OK? <laughs> signs, but they were pointing the wrong way. That's because first, someone mixed the concrete too thinly because they were rushing. Oh, oh, sorry. And second, someone straightened them but wasn't careful and twisted them round the wrong way. Ah, sorry, Bob. I've messed everything up, haven't I, Bob? Well, you know, if you take a bit more time, you can do things properly. Look, Bob, I never knew how pretty the valley was until Dizzy took us on this nature trail. That's great, Safra. It's the best school lesson ever. Looks like we've all learnt something today, eh, Dizzy? At last, you're here. Miss Stevenson, we've had the best at that. We went on a nature trail. Yeah, and learned how to read signs. And uh, we fed some ducks. I'm sorry everyone's late for school, Ella. Um, I don't suppose you want me to be the walking bus anymore. Actually, Dizzy, Bob told me how brilliant you were. You kept all the children together and stayed calm even when you lost your way. Really? So, I can't think of anyone who'd be a better walking bus than you. Oh, wow! I'm still walking bus! <laughs> Take the children home now. <laughs> Actually, Dizzy, we've got to mix some concrete first, then tidy up the yard, then reset the signpost. But, um, what about after that? Yes, Dizzy. It'll be time to be the walking bus after that. So, first mixing, then cleaning, then walking. Yes, one thing at a time, eh, Dizzy? Two, three, four, I know where I'm going. I'm Dizzy, the 